All right, welcome back to build video. I don't know, number six, I think this is. This is a do not video. So in this video, we tested out the high lifter 500 lift kit that we put in the 600. Um, the lift kit was fine as the front um, shock brackets here and the rear wheel spacers. But the problem was when you flipped and rotated the rear hubs like you do in the 500 the 600 does not take it well and I only say that because we're gonna talk about that today the angle of articulation so you'll see on the 800 do you see this the CV boot back here you see how the axle doesn't look too bad it's just got a little angle well on the 600 after we got done with the uh, flipping the hubs and swapping sides I was a little nervous about the angle of articulation, but I drove it around in the yard and it seemed to do fine um, for about six miles. I didn't see any problems in it. Well, we recently went trail riding. We didn't really do any mudding or anything. We just wanted to start breaking this in and we wanted to test out some of the things we put on it to see how they were performing. As you can see in this video, there is no rear axles in there and no rear hubs or anything and the whole thing's taken apart. That would be because they're over here. So what happens is, if this is in your machine here, right? This is actually in your differential and this side's on your wheel. These boots are being so stressed from that serious angle of articulation that the boot begins to bind in itself uh, as the wheels turn and it wraps itself up. The left side I had to completely disassemble because the boot was completely wrapped around the shaft. The right side is unrepairable, but it is um, technically still rideable, but it's only a matter of time for that is completely torn apart and destroyed anyway. So we will be putting new boots on this, um, probably universal boots to fix it and put it back together. No big deal, we're just learning, but I do wanna tell you guys, before you start doing to your quads, do not do the flip and rotate, you know, the, the flip, and rotate sides on the rear hubs on the 600. Don't do it, it's not worth it. The one inch of suspension lift you got or ground clearance lift that you ended up getting out of it was nice, but your machine is not built to hangle, handle that angle of articulation. So when you're riding it on flat ground, because some people are gonna say, well, I haven't done it on my machine, because you know, I looked before I do this, I looked into a bunch of people that had done it, and they seem to have no problem. So a lot of people are going to say, yeah, I did it on my machine, I have no problem. Well, you have no problem most likely because you're riding on roads and flat surfaces. We do trails uh, which have, you know, uh, they allow the suspension to fully extend and compress and fully extend and compress. And what you'll notice is, and you can test this out on yours if you did it, um, put it on a jack on the rear so it's right centered, pick it all the way up in the air, and by hand spin the wheels in neutral and watch the outer boots, that would be the boots closest to the wheel, the outer boots on both sides, and watch and see if those start to bind up and wrap up. Or if they stay nice, you know, nice like the stock one should, and they should look, you know, like that. They shouldn't be all bound up and everything and spun up. You know, like, like that gets all spun up and bound inside itself. Um, if yours don't bind, let me know. Please drop a comment, send me a send me a, a message or anything else. Let me know that yours aren't doing it on the 600. This is a 2020 600. Again, we took the rear hubs off, flipped them upside down, and put them on the other side. Very similar to the 500 lift for the rear. If yours aren't doing it, like I said, let me know. If you haven't done it to your machine yet, don't do it. It's not worth the aggravation. Um, we're going to have to wait until we can find a lift kit for it, probably a bracket lift kit for the suspension or new arms. If you have done it um, and you don't think you have a problem, like I said, put it up on a jack, spin the wheels by hand, and take a look and see if it's binding up. Don't wait until you rip a CV apart on a trail and then find out that you're having a problem. Do it now. Like I said, this is a do not video. Do not install the 500 kit I should say you can install the kit you know the front the front shocks relocation bracket is fine it's worked out great but do not flip and rotate the hubs for the rear for a lift do not flip and rotate the hubs 
on the rear of the 600 2020s. So that's all the video for today. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm trying to do a giveaway video, but uh, I've been waiting for a certain part to come in before I do the giveaway video. But I might end up doing it next week if I don't have the parts yet. And sorry I haven't been uh, too exciting the last two weeks here. We haven't had a whole lot of parts. Unfortunately, Corona stopped a lot of the stuff that was coming from where I was getting it from. So I'm still sitting here waiting. Uh, I do have quite a bit of parts coming. So there will be a lot of videos coming soon. But uh, we might do next week a giveaway video. Thanks again. Comment, subscribe, like. Write to us on Facebook. Send me a message. Anything else you want to do. I appreciate it. I appreciate the feedback. If there's something else you want me to check out, like I said, um, not only am I here to you know promote this CF Moto and promote this mud build, but I'm also here to help people not make mistakes. That's why I'm trying to make them first before you make them. So if you have anything else, any suggestions, anything you've done, if you did it yourself, let me know if it's working or it's not working, if you're binding or not. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Take it easy.